Welcome to Safe Team Solutions. My name is Gabriel, Safety Consultant at Safe Team Solutions. My name is Mike, Senior Safety Consultant at Safe Team Solutions. In this video, we are bringing you the revisions and updates to our hours of service video. As you may have heard, in May of 2020, the FMCSA, or Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, made some long-awaited changes to the hours of service regulations. These new rules went into effect on September 29, 2020. Their goal was to give drivers more flexibility to manage their time on the road. The changes affect four areas. One, 30-minute breaks. Two, split sleeper berth. Three, adverse driving conditions. And four, 100 air mile or the short haul exception. First, a brief reminder of the hours of service rules. 11 hour driving rule. A driver may drive up to 11 hours total before he is required to take a 10 hour break. The 11 hour clock only ticks while the truck is actually being driven. 14 hour on duty shift rule. As soon as a driver changes his status to on duty or driving to start his day, a 14 hour clock starts ticking. This clock does not stop ticking even if the driver switches to off duty or sleeper berth. Once the 14 hours is up, the driver must take a 10 hour break before further driving. 70 hours and 8 days rule or 60 hours and 7 days. Total time spent driving and on duty cannot exceed 70 hours in any 8 day period. So add up the time spent driving and on duty today plus the prior 7 days. That total cannot be over 70 hours. A driver may gain back time at midnight when the oldest day in his eight day window falls out of the time range. To completely reset the 70 hour clock requires a 34 hour restart. There is also a variation of this rule that works the same way, but limits work time to 60 hours and seven days. Fleets can decide which of these two variations they want to choose. 10 hour break. If the time is on the 11 hour or 14 hour clock has expired, the driver must take at least 10 consecutive hours in off-duty and or sleeper berth status to reset those clocks. 34-hour restart. If a driver is running low on time on his 70-hour and 8 days clock or 60 hours and 7 days, he can complete a 34-hour restart to reset the 70-hour clock. A restart must be 34 consecutive hours of off-duty and or sleeper berth time. And that brings us to the first change. 30-minute breaks or the 8-hour 30-minute break rule. Property carrying drivers must take a 30 minute break when you are driving for a period of eight cumulative hours without at least a 30 minute interruption. The break must be taken within the eight cumulative hours. In other words, the break must be taken after at least seven and a half hours. The break may be satisfied by any non-driving period of 30 consecutive minutes, such as on duty not driving, off duty sleeper berth, or any combination of these taken consecutively. Once again, the break must be taken within the eight consecutive hours of driving. 30 minute break requirement can now be satisfied by an on duty, not driving break in addition to an off duty break. The requirement for property carrying drivers is applicable in situations where a driver has driven for a period of eight hours without at least a 30 minute interruption. Again, to clarify, the 30 minute break must be taken within the eight consecutive hours of driving. A lot of information we see given does not clarify this very well and states that the break must be taken after eight hours of consecutive driving. This is not correct. The break must be taken within the eight consecutive on-duty driving hours. Per FMCSA Regulation 395.3 Part A Part 3, property carrying CMV drivers are required to take a 30-minute break within eight hours of driving without at least a 30 minute break. A 30 minute break is satisfied by time off duty, in sleeper berth, on duty, not driving. 30 minutes must be consecutive, but can be satisfied by any combination of activities. The activities do not include fueling, loading, or unloading. The second change is regarding sleeper berth splits. You can now do a seven slash three split in addition to the normal eight slash two split. This means you can do seven hours in a sleeper berth, finish some leftover driving time, and then do three hours in either off-duty or the sleeper berth to complete the split break. You can read more about sleeper splits in Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations Section 395. Both resting periods of the split now pause the 14-hour on-duty clock. Previously, the 8-hour portion of the split paused your 14-hour clock, but the 2-hour portion did not. Now, both portions of the split put your 14-hour clock on hold so that you don't waste valuable time of the 14 hours resting. The third change is regarding adverse driving conditions. 
When the driver switches to adverse driving conditions on his electronic or paper logs, if applicable, you now receive an extra two hours on your 11-hour driving clock and the 14-hour on-duty clock, giving the driver a total of 16 hours on-duty time. Previously, it only extended your 11-hour clock, and the driver was still responsible to end his on-duty time no later than 14 hours. Finally, the fourth change is regarding the short-haul exception, which was previously 100 air mile radius. The short-haul exception now extends to driving within a radius of 150 air miles. Previously, CDL drivers were limited to 100 air miles for the short-haul exception. The maximum work shift for short-haul drivers is extended to 14 hours. Previously, it was only 12 hours. Regarding the short haul 150 air mile exemption, short haul drivers that consistently operate within 150 air mile radius of their central work location may be exempt from keeping hours of service logs at all. They can instead simply keep a time card used to report their daily hours. There's a fairly long list of requirements in order to qualify for these two exemptions. If in doubt, Look up and read the FMCSA regulation, Part 395, in our check with your manager or dispatcher to decide if you qualify. Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Remember to share with your friends and colleagues and leave comments.